Lips, uh, it has been an incredible day, and we are only at top 24 now. Yep, I mean, a lot of people from out of state have decided to come in because you know what? They want to try and get a chance to grab that Summit bag, so they're here to try and make things happen for them because they could not qualify in other way through nominations. But here we go. We got another match coming in, AC versus Chag. Yeah, so opening up with uh, two uh, very strong competitors right now. Yeah, I mean, Chag, of course, one of the more younger players in the community, and then AC, a long-time veteran since Brawl. So this is going to be, you know, a battle for the ages <laughs> between these two. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Everyone is fighting uh, incredibly hard right now. But uh, we're going to open up our uh, game one here with uh, Chag. Uh, actually, just getting off stage right now. But Nikita not quite uh, making the, uh, the mark, but that Donko going to set him off. And... Uh, we have our neutral. Yeah, I mean, th one of the difficult things is like, we're already blinking and then Chag's at 123. You just gotta accept that when you're fighting Snake, that you're probably gonna attack on a lot of damage. It's just the factor of, can I survive long enough to maybe catch up or get myself a lead? Because Palutena does have the ability to be able to kill. It doesn't matter of being able to find it. But it looks like AC's not giving him that chance, going in with a potential edge guard here. And it's not enough oh, to up smash timing off. Yeah, the Reflector actually just like uh, not quite making it to Mark and gonna eat uh, all that damage and take the first stock. Yeah, if that happened so fast, I couldn't even tell what's happening. I saw the Reflector and I was like, oh, he still got hit by it, so. Yeah, absolutely. For AC, you're definitely gonna be racking up a little bit of damage uh, before, you know, losing this first stock. But at 132, uh, Palutena definitely has more than enough capabilities to uh, kill even a weight class of uh, Snake. Yeah, I mean, very great trade there. Just putting him on the edge again. Puts down the mine. Neutral air, big damage into the up smash. Oh, actually, just a regular neutral get us gets around that, but, you know, just that damage tacks on, you know, blink again, 84%. Very bad situation for Chag right now. Is that going to do it? Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to close out that, uh, that stock right there. Yeah, up so we'll be able to close that out. <laughs> Try to pull out the auto reticle, but you know what? That dash attack is such a great burst move and it low profiles you, so I think it was just fast enough before the auto reticle came out, but still. Yeah, so. absolutely. That uh that earlier down smash was definitely a little <laughs> a little, little bit of a uh, I guess a commitment. You got a lot of damage just straight off the bat. Mm -hmm. Okay, tossing out some grenades. Being very careful, taking his time down air into a back air. Very nice setup here. And now Jack's got himself in a great position and trying to make up for lost time here. Yeah, he's just doing a very fantastic job, though, mixing up, uh, mixing up this aerial option for uh, for landing. He's doing a really good job. Yeah, I really like where he plays the C4 as well because Jack is trying to pressure at the ledge and trying to keep a distance at the same time. But putting that mind there just hinders Jack's ability to do like a jump call out or anything like that. So he's got to stay on the ground, so he's losing his options there. That's how he's able to come back so nicely. Yeah, Chag actually winning that uh, the interaction right there only for that dash attack to close it out and uh, bring us back down to one stock apiece. Yeah, he's got himself on the ledge though, okay. Auto Rebel comes out, not able to get it. He has the grenade, it cooked a little bit, but he's able to throw it back out in time. And just trying to find himself an opening, but you know what, it, 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 it's the name of the game, just all those grenades is gonna hinder some of your approaches sometimes. Oh my gosh, again going for that, that down smash. Or sorry, forward smash. Okay, he recognized that the grenade didn't cook long enough, so he just went ahead with the throw rather than waiting for it. He got himself with some ledge control. All of a sudden, he looked like he was really behind this whole game, but this is what I'm talking about. If you, if you can find yourself the stocks against Snake, you're not out of it yet. It's just a matter of being able to try and find the opportunity. Grenade comes in, explosions, there's a corner. Into the explosive flame, still not quite enough. Is ever going to take it? Yeah, up is definitely going to take it. Yes, and Chag hyping himself up a little bit. He is psyched to get that first game up off of AC, but a beautiful comeback after being down for so long. It's just a war of attrition against a character like Snake. Yeah, absolutely. And and then uh, absolutely, uh, both of these characters, uh, excuse me, uh, both of these players are both uh, front runners for their characters as well. But it's just one of those things is where Snake is just at that weight class where Palu, I think, just gets so much more mileage off of things, you know, with that nerf quite a ways back with the, the nair. Um, you know, supposedly not supposed to be getting more than like three or so uh, nairs in the train, but I just feel like there are just some uh, instances where Snake is just really hurting. Oh my god, big explosions there already, stacking up damage for both of them. Very intimidating position, be able to get the grab into the back there, try to call him out going high, this time AC doesn't do it. This is his setup there, he has the grenade explosion in the right place. Both of these two are attacking on damage and grenades is getting in the way of whatever they want to do. Oh, I follow with the down there, actually. 
Yeah, I mean, all of Snake's aerials are so meaty, so if you can find a setup to try and land it. Whoa! A down smash? Is yeah, a setup? A Picks up the stock? down smash. Oh, you tried to read that, though. That was a really good. That was a really good attempt at reading with the up tilt. <laughs> yeah, that's a great big early stock for Chag. If he can keep up this momentum, we might be seeing a potential win for Chag here, but we'll have to see. More tilt comes out. Nikita as well lands in the sky. Not gonna be able to find a setup just roll through. He didn't have enough space, uh, or he had too much space rather. Uh, not able to get to the ledge in time. <laughs> Man, he is just throwing up. <laughs> he just wants to close up the stock. You can see it. There we go. Man, even Stale is still uh, it's still closed it out. So no wonder why he kept throwing that out. Yeah, I mean, I even remember in the Smash Four days, and even even sometimes in Brawl, like, AC would just throw out moves like a lot, and then like, okay, you you won't even expect it the third time to come out, and the third time to charm there, be able to close it out with the up tilt, but still yeah. running a little bit behind <laughs> here on this stock. Yeah, that's absolutely wild. Oh, the guy's in, gets in there. Not quite gonna get the up air, but still bad position for AC. Dash attacks in, dash attack again. Again. Like the high recovery. Tries to get the up smash, but what's the ledge play gonna be? Just a roll jab. Yeah, not able to find his way back in. Ooh. Very good patience. Oh, okay. Getting the roll, yeah, mm -hmm. to the ledge. Yeah. That, that was a tough situation. Uh, if you roll behind him, that's like the expected thing, but then uh, when he rolled away, then uh, did he have enough time to react to it. So AC is just very focused, able to find that stuff there. Ooh, had the right idea with following him down with the up air. Ooh, but oh my gosh, he actually had that kill set up, and unfortunately a reversal. Yep, gonna get that up smash, call out the roll, out of shield. Very easy stock for Chag to, to be able to achieve here. Now, this is pretty much anyone's game. Don't let anyone fool you by that 88%, but we'll have to see, because the ledge control from AC absolutely immaculate right now. But we got the Nair trains going. Damage is coming up. Don't throw, no, no, no grab after the Yeah, had a great setup to try and uh, continue the damage, but not quite. Gonna get hit by Nikita again. Tried to get the parry, but the multi hit, not quite enough uh, to get himself out of that scenario. Oh, wow. That was that was fantastic, actually. Yeah, eye for an eye. I got you with the up smash out of shield, and I'm gonna go get the up tilt to punish your dash attack. So. Yeah, no, you see a game three. Mm -hmm. Very exciting game for the first match of our stream so far. Are we gonna see it going straight back to PS2 again? You know, sometimes that's yep. just uh, that's what you want to do because you, <laughs> you feel like you may understand what your opponent did, and if you don't think the stage was a problem, then why change the scenario and make things worse for you potentially with a new new setting? So, right, absolutely. And both of these characters get great mileage with the uh, grenade setups for Snake and the uh, what is it the the ledge canceling with the. Uh, Right, yes. The warp for Palu. Yeah. Let's see how this goes, though. A little bit of a slower start, but Jack decides to take it, take things in his own hands here. Put himself in a bad position. Rolled away again, actually. I don't think AC was ready for it that time. He was thinking maybe he won't do it again this time, but... Yeah, no, <laughs> it was like Jack's using his own uh, strategy against him by just throwing out the same thing, not expecting it. Okay, up air, catches him. The deep no. Trying to catch him, but it's a little bit hard to catch the snake. He's being a little bit too slippery here. Oh man, and Chad's been so good about getting these drag down up airs, but uh, as for following up, just out of reach every time almost. All right, let's see how he gets out of this one. Okay, teleport to the other side. I like that idea. Didn't try to fight his way through. He's going to be able to find a stock though. No, oh, no back here quite yet. Landing in, c 4 is there. Got to play around it. Got to keep his distance. If he gets hit by that, he's probably dead. And that allows AC to get control back on the ledge again. Explosive flame just not quite just there to reach it. <laughs> just right out of range. Oh, I love that high recovery, though. Went up high and let himself fall back down. I don't think AC was expecting that. Pretty much a dead even game on this first stop. Game three. Remember, this is best of three because we're nowhere near losing semis right now. But you can already feel the tension in this game here. Right, absolutely. Both uh, very high percent, but not yet close out of stock for either of our contenders yet. Okay, to come back. Ooh, another high recovery. Again, AC not expecting it, but still, he's just fighting for his life here, trying to find out what he can do. Oh, oh the his own grenade working against him right there. <laughs> he had the stock. Yeah, that was going to be a guaranteed up tilt, but then the grenade just interrupted it, but 
Chag able to close it out with, I think, that dash attack. And now he's going to get it himself a train. This is big for Chag here to try and close out game three. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I was saying before, it's just the way class of Snake able uh let's uh, Palu just get those nair trains. Dash attack comes in. Dude, Chag is starting to steamroll AC a little bit here. We got to see some kind of fallback from AC. He's got himself at such a high percent. Oh, he's got to find the stock before it steamrolls into the last stock situation. What a Oh, oh that, okay. yeah, the actual interaction right there going to be closing out the stock that time. Dude, I was hyping up for the kill again from Chag, but this time the grenade actually going to take out Chag this time around. Yeah. Another up air, though. Yeah, absolutely. But AC is definitely not in a favorable uh, deficit right now. Uh, being up almost a full stock uh, for Chag. All right, Tex rolls in. Gets away from that dash attack. Back air. Takes him back off the stage again. Throws a, check, just checks a grenade from Kane the blast zone. Says, okay, I just got to throw everything I can right now to try and get back. And he does. Oh, here we go. Ooh, empty hop into dash the attack. dash attack. Oh my yeah. gosh, dash attack cooling out, wow. Yeah, it looked like he kind of DI'd in. It looked like he was approaching him and he wasn't expecting that. So he, he ended up DI'ing in on that so he went up higher. So unfortunate, but here we go. Another train. Let's see how much he can get. 330% right there. Okay, mine set up into up smash. Man, He's able to get around this. Chag has been so good about getting around these ledge traps that uh, AC has been placing. He's been, he hasn't been mixing it quite as much as I feel like he could. Uh, and Chag has been able to capitalize by getting around that and kind of reinstilling the uh, stage control. Yeah, I, I mean, whenever he tried to do the up smash, he got him the first time on that first stock game one. But after that, he's been able to get around this ledge play. Very, very skill and precise timing from Chag to be able to accomplish that. Okay, high recovery. Gonna have to go around that. High recovery. Gonna have to go around that. Yeah. It's not gonna work out this time. And the up smash. Go. That's finally gonna take out that stock. And of course, SoCal is behind AC. Of course, we know that we want to defend our home turf, but you know what? We're, let's forget that we're SoCal for a minute. We got to be unbiased here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is a uh, last stock scenario and uh, last stock. Oh, last game too uh, for both of these uh, players. So the winner will be moving on. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, dash attack comes in. Grenade. Okay. Shield comes up. Even a hit gets hit by his own grenade. Big moment for Chag here to be able to try and get something up tilt, not quite. Okay, let's cancel like you mentioned earlier. Be able to come back from the stage. Oh, this is so close. AC, AC has been doing a really good job just picking away at the uh, percent for Chag's last stock. He's a very, very much high up in percent, but he's doing so good right now. But if you're Chag, you just want to close this out as quickly as possible. All right, that was a really big nair to get. 94% is a huge place for Snake to be against his opponent. Let's see. Oh, perfectly spaced back air. He gets the spot dodge. He gets away from him, but AC trying to keep the leg control. Oh, oh he my gosh. It. And AC no moving way. out of the bracket, keeping the SoCal dream alive. Chag moving down in the losers bracket. Once again, yeah. <laughs> we have the uh, SoCal crowd popping off for AC right here. Oh man, that was something. I thought 